Welcome back troglodytes to Would You Rock or Not. I have a thing for Triple P90 guitars. It's mainly because you don't see them too often, and when you do, they're usually really interesting looking guitars. I've documented what I called the Queen of Clean, which was a Triple P90 custom that was based off of one that was made in the 50s. I recently took a look at a Gary Clark SG. I wasn't a huge fan of that one because, well, that guitar had some issues. And I didn't like the whole blending of the middle pickup thing. I prefer it when it's just a standard three-way toggle switch and it's wired up just like a three humbucker Les Paul. So that means neck, middle and bridge, and bridge. Because that middle position gets you a really nice quacky single coil sound when you're on a humbucker Les Paul. But then when you have actual single coils, it's, it's just such a beautiful thing. So this one showed up on Reverb today. It is a Custom Shop 1954 reissue, but with an added third pickup. So I definitely wanted to document this one because look, now we have a wrap tail version of a 3P90. Now, unfortunately, the seller was not very specific if this one is wired up traditionally or if it has the blending option. But I think this would be a fantastic guitar because the tone coming out of a rap tail instrument is usually a little bit different than your tunematic style. Since this one was made in 2006, it will not have hide glue construction yet, but it will still have a mahogany body and neck with a carved maple top and rosewood fretboard. So for our playing demo today, once again, I'll take you back to the queen of clean. <laughs> This episode was kind of short. So let's turn this episode into a double feature and show you guys this awesomely modified 2007 Gibson Flying V. Essentially, this started life as one of those faded Flying Vs, but then somebody painted it to look like the Love Drops Jimi Hendrix V. They even put in the Vibrola system on it. And if you compare it side by side to the limited edition Gibson version, the painting is pretty darn close. I mean, obviously, here to here, here to there, and there and there, it's a little bit different. It seems like all the artwork was done in a wider style on this, but look at this one, $10,000. Look at this one, 900 bucks. I just thought that's actually a pretty good deal and somebody should move on that if you're a Hendrix fan. The only question left, would you rock a triple P90 R4 or not? Or how about the custom painted flying V? Leave your answer down in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you tomorrow on the next episode. Take care.